Jeannie, you had the GLIAC Champions Chips this past weekend in Ashland. Uh, tell us how, how it went. We finished very well. We got third place overall. And we had our top four girls in the top 25. So I think we did very well. We ran as a pack. And though our times weren't very fast, the course was really muddy. So I was happy with our you said the the course was muddy. Uh, talk about the challenges um, that 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 poses, and you know what do you got to do to overcome something like that? Well, basically, you just have to be very mentally tough, and I think our girls were that. Um, we went in with a positive mindset, and we thought everyone else would be running in it also. So, um, I think you just have to be positive and keep your head up. Talk about how the season's going uh, up to this point. Uh, you guys are going into your second leg of championship season with regionals in two weeks. Uh, talk about the season. I think I'm actually really excited. I think we've done extremely well. It's my last year, so I'm excited with the turnout. And um, I think the in two weeks we have regional regionals at Ferris State, and though none of our girls have really, I think only two of the girls have run the course at Ferris, but um, I think it will be a challenge, but I'm really excited, and I think we're ready for it. So. In your last uh, cross-country meet, um, your senior year, what are, what are you hoping to accomplish, and uh, how are you going to try to lead you know, the, the team to a high finish? Well, I'm hoping to push the pack faster, and I want us to go to nationals very bad. So I think we have a shot. We just have to push ourselves this week and the next. We're starting to taper a mile, so we feel fresh for regionals, and I hope it works out. <laughs> uh, talk briefly about your experiences uh, here at SVSU on the women's cross country team? I'm very happy that I joined this team. Um, I was a walk on my freshman year and I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with it, but I'm really excited. I love the girls and the coaches are great too. Um, I think working with academics and athletics is a difficult to do, but I think it's extremely helpful with my life. I think it makes me stay organized and manage my time well. So. Coach Ed, talk about the, uh, the GLIAC championships this past weekend down in Ashland. It was a muddy course. They had uh, some bad weather leading up to it. Uh, talk about the challenges that that posed for, for your runners. Well, it was... Uh Friday on our, our way to uh, Ashland, uh, crossing over rivers, they were over their banks and just foaming. They were so so high, and I was a little bit uh, worried about the course. And they had moved the some parts of the course because of water. But actually, uh, the way the day turned out on Saturday, it was uh, bright blue skies, uh, no breeze, uh, cool, just actually perfect running conditions. And it was a little bit drier on Saturday than it was on Friday. Friday, when we viewed the course. Uh, it was tough. Talk about Alicia Wright and her uh, her quick start she had to the season. Uh, Alicia Wright is a uh, just has really come on this year to help us a lot. Uh, uh, last year she had some medical problems and was not even a factor as far as our top seven were concerned. Uh, she had a very good indoor track season and she had an outstanding outdoor track season. Uh, just missed All-American in the 800 by a couple hundredths of a second. Uh, she has more speed than anyone on the team, and uh, it's not unexpected to have her run like she did. She's been up there every race, but uh, has been getting a little bit stronger week by week. And uh, finally, I think that uh, she's reached her peak at, at a very good time in the season. Coach, talk about both teams and uh, your assessment of you know, how the season's gone to this point and where you go from here? Well, our, our women's team uh, ended up third in the GLIAC, which uh, 
I was very pleased with. Uh, we had a sixth place finish last year. Uh, basically, we got the same team back from last year, so that's very nice improvement. Uh, we've added an outstanding freshman uh, to the women's team, uh, Emily Short from Tawas, uh, who over the last uh, two weeks has really come on strong. Uh, two weeks ago, she made it into the top five for her, her first time, and then uh, the last meet, uh, uh, Gliak, she was our second runner, so she is just doing an outstanding job as a freshman. Uh, we have a basically upper class team. Uh, we have a lot of seniors on this team and the, the thing that really brings me a lot of satisfaction is uh, when they started as freshmen they were no better than average high school runners and they just are, are a group that have worked hard every year, uh, have improved their uh, times every year and are really serious about what they do. Talk about the uh, the practice uh, you guys are putting in for regionals in two weeks. Well, this is going to be our hardest two weeks of the season. Uh, tonight is uh, Tuesday. It's always our interval night. Uh, tonight we'll be doing, uh, the, the uh, women will be doing uh, seven times 1,000 at race pace with a uh, two minute and 45 second rest interval. Uh, we strive, always strive with that group to have them run together. Uh, we had an amazing finish uh, Saturday. Uh, our top five were within 16 seconds of one another, which is, uh, in all my years of uh, coaching cross country, that's the best finish I've ever had a team finish. Uh, they were just all right together. And, it, and it's very hard to beat a team that can run like that. And our girls have been running like that all season. And lastly, preview uh, the GLIAC, I mean, not the GLIAC, the, uh, the regionals. Um, coming up at Ferris State, the course, um, what what you guys need to do to uh, be successful there? Uh, the Ferris State course is a very tough course. Uh, it, it's very hilly, and, and as you know, in uh, the Saginaw area, uh, we have no really significant hills. Uh, we travel a lot just to train on hills. Uh, we go to uh, Frankenmuth, which has a, a, a park that is loaded with hills, so we go there on weekends to train. Uh, we uh, run uh, the Saginaw Valley uh, edition of Hills, which is uh, an expressway overpass over on Crane Road, about, about a mile away. We run that every week. Uh, we run the stadium ramps. Uh, wherever we can find hills, we run them, but uh, it, it's gonna be a tough challenge because of the hills at, at Ferris. Uh, 